This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Tunnel and Razor. Well, we're getting pumped for the big games this weekend. The conference championships, just a couple more weeks. The biggest of games. Yeah, I can't wait. Many people like to get in on all the action by making small or big bets within the office, neighborhood, or other social setting. But could that friendly bet actually be breaking the law? Well, attorney Kelly Geloff, who is the managing partner at Tunnel and Racer in Sussex County, is here to clear that up for us. Kelly, thank you for, for joining us. Um, for having me. It's, you know, it's really not that big a deal, is it? We're just making friendly little wagers. Friendly little wagers um, can get people in trouble. However, the reality is that you really have to have somebody complain about it for an investigation to take place or the police to get involved, typically. Um, but you do have to be careful because if, you're, if you yourself are hosting something, hosting an event, you cannot yourself make money off of it unless you're a player and everybody's on equal, equal footing. Hmm. What about the IRS? They're going to want to collect, right? Well, on those friendly bettings that you're talking about, really it's called social gambling, where um, there really are only four states that specifically state what social gambling is. Um, but in social gambling, those are kinds of things that are more fun and not something that's reported. The IRS does take their cut for people who are really gambling, doing the serious gambling in those arenas and events that are actually sanctioned by your various states that allow that to happen. You will actually get a sort of a, you know, a, a tax document that you would actually report your income as well as your losses as long as you do itemized deductions. I'm not a tax attorney, but <laughs> just generally speaking, you can actually take some deductions as long as it's not more than what you're claiming for income. So then if I lose, can I write that off as a gambling loss? Probably not if you are dealing with a situation where um, you are in a home, if you are working with co-op workers to just say, oh, I think this person's going to win or I think this team is going to win and I'll, I'll bet you a couple bucks on that. That's not something that would, that would be reported. That's not something that you would typically report as far as income if you did win a couple hundred bucks off of that or a few pennies or dollars or something like that. Right. The, the, again, that's more of the social gambling that around this time of year people are just feeling like it seems more fun if you have a little bit extra involved in it. You do, you just have to be careful. If it ends up becoming such a big event or you have hundreds of people involved, you do have to be careful because really social gambling is supposed to be for social fun events um, that can be taken too far and certainly you can get in trouble if it's, if it's investigated. Really? Well, what are the chances of uh, these cases being prosecuted? There is hardly any case law in Delaware. As you know, I'm a Delaware admitted attorney, um, so you do have to check with each individual state and an attorney within your state. There really is not much case law on that social gambling. I will say Delaware in general, though, is very strict and has a blanket no gambling law within the Constitution. They do allow for sanctioned events, but they are very much monitored and they uh, cannot take, you cannot have things take place that if they're considered illegal, um, you, you have to make sure that you're going by the rules. So bottom line, if somebody, what would, what would you tell somebody who just wants to make a friendly little wager? A friendly little wager, I would say that you probably are okay doing that um, because the, the law, at least in Delaware, does not specifically state that that is something that's illegal. Again, as well as long as everybody is on the same playing field, so you're not somebody's not making money off of it. You're not charging to walk in the door. You're not charging me five bucks for you to facilitate the two of us to have a little wager. Um, something like that is is probably okay, but. It's not, again, it goes back to you can certainly be, you know, told on and someone might investigate it, but the likelihood of that seems pretty slim given that there's really hardly any case law on that. All right, always good information, Kelly. Uh, thanks for joining us thanks. this afternoon. Thank you.